For number 1, you are going to solve the equation for x by first using the distributive property. So when you distribute, make sure that you multiply the 4 to both of the things inside. So that's going to give you 4 minus 4x. And on the right-hand side, I have to multiply negative 2 to both of the things inside. So that will give negative 2x and then minus 2. So then the second step will be to combine like terms on the left hand side I have two terms that have X in them so those are my like terms and when you combine them on the same side you do not change the sign so I've got negative 4 plus 3 so that's going to give negative 1x and on the right hand side there are no like terms I have one with a variable one with a constant so then the third step will be to bring the variables to one side. So you're going to choose uh, the smaller variable, um, negative 2x, and because you're going to do it to both sides, you're going to change the sign here. And so that's going to give 4 plus 1x. Negative 1x plus 2x is positive 1x. And on the right-hand side now, these these are canceled and you're just left with negative 2. And then the last step in this problem is going to be to subtract 4 from both sides and that will give x equals negative 6 and so that is what you are going to put into your gridded response box. Now remember with a gridded response that you can either left justify or right justify but uh, it's going to take one box for the negative and one box for the digit 6. For number 2, we have a question about the cross product. And remember that the cross product is a set of ordered pairs now. So you're really pairing everybody up. So just to kind of give a little preview, we don't need to write out the entire cross product. But just as a reminder, the cross product is going to be... 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 1 and 6, 1 and 8, and so on. Okay, But if you remember, there's a trick to finding the number of elements in the cross product. If there are four elements in the first set and four elements in the second set, all you have to do is multiply them together to get the, the size of the cross product, so 16 is the size of the cross product in this case. For number four, you have two cars traveling in opposite directions and we want to know how long it will take for them to be at least 688 kilometers apart. And so what we're going to use partially is the fact that distance is equal to rate times time because they give us time is equal to h. They tell us that. So I'm going to change that variable. Um, but I also know a rate here. The 88 kilometers is one rate, and then 72 kilometers is the second rate. So um, the first one is 88h, and then the second one is 72h. So that's distance of the first car, 88h, plus the distance of the second car, 72h. And I want to know when their distance away from each other is at least 688 kilometers. So that's greater than or equal to 688. So now my next step is to combine like terms on the left-hand side, which will give me um, 88 plus 72 for 160h, greater than or equal to 688. And then divide both sides by 160. And you'll get h is greater than or equal to 4.3.
which is choice F. All right, for number five, we are given a function rule. T of C is equal to 3C plus 5, and they're asking us to find C when T of C is equal to negative 16. So in this problem, uh, you are going to need to make sure that you are substituting in the appropriate place. So for us, uh, they are telling me to find C. So I'm not going to I'm not going to plug in for C. In fact, what I'm going to plug in is negative 16 for T of C, which is the entire left-hand side of this of this function rule. So instead of T of C, I'm going to plug in 16 or negative 16. So negative 16 is my T of C is equal to 3C plus 5. You can solve this two-step equation. The biggest part about this problem is going and making sure that you are plugging in for the appropriate thing. Your midterm question might be here, get, I'm going to give you C now, you find T of C. So you have to just be careful of that. So now my next step would be to subtract 5 from both sides. And that gives negative 21 equal to 3C. And then divide both sides by 3, and I get negative 7 equal to C. And again, on your gridded response, the negative is going to get a box, and the 7 is going to get a box. And again, you can left or right justify those.